There's already strong reason to believe that 2011 will go down in history as a big year, alongside 1912, the sinking of Titanic, 1914, the start of the First World War, 1939, the start of the Second World War, 1989, the fall of the Berlin Wall, and 2001, the 11th of September attacks, to name but a few. Indeed, the scale of some of the news events of this year has been vast. It's estimated that up to 3 billion people watched the royal wedding in April, and who hasn't heard of the terrible earthquakes in New Zealand, Turkey, and of course, Japan. But there's also been a huge amount of news this year, with the killing of Osama bin Laden, the withdrawal of troops from Iraq, and the nationwide riots in the summer, the deaths of John Barry, Amy Winehouse, and Steve Jobs, and the revolutions in Tunisia, Egypt and Libya, not to mention the other uprisings across the Arab world. It's a year that's shaken the world, both metaphorically and in some places literally, and it's been a big year for me too. In the first month of this year, I rode a Segway. February saw me controlling the lighting for the school play. I went walking with church and handed out books, travelled to Spain, many pictures I took. I turned 15, watched Will marry Kate, paddled down the river with my very best mates. At a castle I sang, had work done on my teeth, worked for a business, the end of term came as relief. I went to Denmark, Sweden, and Finland too, me and my friends from the Berkshire Scouts crew. Hiked in North Wales and went to St Paul's, performed in front of millions from the Royal Albert Hall. Celebrated 25 years of mum and dad being a pair, with 50 odd people also gathered there. Ridden my bike, looked at ships and steered a boat, and it wasn't too hard to keep it afloat. I had dinner in Cambridge and toured the BBC, counted down to Christmas the Oxford Street lights I did see. My brother and I dressed up in two suits, I conducted a choir and sang carols with St Luke's, smiled for pictures and ate too much for my own good, but on Boxing Day I did walk off the Christmas pud. In the last 365 days, I've cuddled Jeremy Vine, completed my DV Bronze Award, taken part in the World Scout Jamboree, and met the Home Secretary three times. I've climbed mountains, canoed down rivers, taken my first flight in a plane, and been further away from home than ever before. I've recorded two terabytes worth of HD video footage. I've taken well over 10,000 photographs at 150 events. I've written 175 blogs, which altogether have been read well over 20,000 times. I've been one of eight, one of 40,000, and I am now, for the first time ever, one of seven billion. 2011. What a year.